Pete Hegseth, he's a Fox News contributor and author of In the Arena. He's joining us live today from Chicago. Good morning to you. Good morning, Pete. Good morning. Thanks you, for having me. Yeah, you spent a lot of time down in Washington D.C. What do you What do you make of the fact that, uh, given what Paul Ryan has said in the last 48 hours, Donald Trump is distancing himself from the Republican establishment? You know, I, I, I think he has to. And frankly, I'm, I'm a conservative. I've liked a lot of uh, Republicans and conservatives uh, who, are, who, who, who haven't supported Donald Trump. But I'm, I'm sick of this whole idea that we're going to throw bombs and be critics and undermine uh, this, uh, this candidate. I mean, we've got an election cycle where we've got two choices. I get that Donald Trump is not perfect. I get that he's made mistakes. He's said things that, that a lot of us don't like. But this is not an election cycle about left and right. This is an election cycle about do we have a country or not? Do we have borders or not? Do we support our cops or not? Do we stand for the national anthem or not? Do we let political correctness drown us or do we fight back against us? So Donald Trump is not perfect. But what I say to the critics who are on the sidelines are don't confuse the sidelines with the moral high ground. Because if you do and continue to do what you do and undermine Donald Trump, we will get Hillary Clinton, which means we will get the fundamental transformation of America will continue. So you built your book around a very famous Teddy Roosevelt speech, um, and give us the essence of it, because I think it may speak to what we're watching right now. Yeah, I wrote a book called, the, uh, called In the Arena. It's about a quote, a man in the arena quote, which many is famous and a lot of people out there will know. I carried it with me to Iraq and Afghanistan and Guantanamo Bay. It came from a famous Teddy Roosevelt quote. I don't know if you've got the quote there. We but do. It's the man in the now. arena quote says, it's not the critic who counts. It's not the man who points out where the doer of deeds could have done them better or where the strong man stumbles. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly for worthy causes, and who errs because because there is no error, there is no effort without error and shortcoming. And he ends by saying, so that we never shall be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. And I would ask America, don't be those timid souls. Don't be those critics on the sidelines. Because we have a man in the arena right now. Yeah. And his name is Donald Trump. And he may not have been your first choice. He wasn't mine. I was a Marco Rubio supporter. Then I was a Ted Cruz supporter. Then I supported nobody. I was just never, never Hillary. And then I tepidly Donald Trump. And today I will proudly pull the lever for him. Not because I have to own everything that he's done, everything mm -hmm. that he's said, something that happened 11 years ago, but because I love my country. And that's what Teddy Roosevelt was talking about. The arena is where you fight for America. Right. And it's quite clear the left is off the cliff, open borders, yeah. political correctness, got our military, and Donald Trump's fighting in the arena for us. Well, Pete, what is your message for the folks in the GOP that, that are splitting the party, that are not following Donald Trump? Uh, we're, th thank you very much for Hillary Clinton. Uh, thank you very much for a Supreme Court that's going to undermine our Second Amendment and our First Amendment. Uh, th thank, thank you very much for a military that won't be rebuilt, a VA that's not going to get fixed. Uh, I, I think we've got, there's a movement that's building around Donald Trump that is not all about conservatism. We acknowledge that. But if we stand on our hill of purity and perfection on every single issue, then right. we'll never have a candidate that we love. So realize that it's our job as conservatives to make sure that when, if Donald Trump is elected, he stays conservative, especially with Supreme Court justices. But to to sit on the sidelines is to enable Hillary Clinton, which is to enable the radical left to keep transforming our country. Yes, I, I appreciate your points. You don't need to own everything that any candidate says in order to make the choice in favor of that candidate. I think it's a That's right. That's right. All right. Uh, Pete Hegseth joining us from Minneapolis, not Chicago. Yes. Uh, Pete, thank you That's very much. Right.